Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics uh, Problem of the Week. This week you're given a square with some lines drawn on it and you're trying to find the length of a line segment um, given the length of this line segment. So one thing that you might want to recall is the law of sines which states that um, so A is the cor A the capital letter is the corresponding side to the angle. So if this, if this angle here was A, this side would be capital A, and so on. So it says that the side, um, side length to sine of the angle ratio is equal for all angles and sides of a triangle. So this is very useful if you know, if you start with an angle side pair and you know one other angle or side. Fortunately, with this uh, square, we know that the diagonals intersect at, a right, ang at right angles, um, so we can use the law of sines to solve for this uh, side. One more thing is that we're given the um, that this line here is the angle bisector of of this larger angle. So we know we also know that since the diagonals form four equal form four equal length line segments, that these triangles here are all isosceles, meaning by the law of sines that these two angles will be um, the same. And you can uh, use that to find out that this big angle is 45 degrees and the little angle here is 22 and a half degrees. And for now, we will call this length L. And since the sine of 90 degrees is 1, we have n over sine of 22.5 equals L. Um, so we can also find um, this angle here um, by subtracting 22.5, 180, and uh, 22.5 and 90 from 180. So we'll call this angle G, um, which is 67.5 degrees. Um, so we have one triangle, and this kind of trapezoid-looking shape and what we want to do is use similar or congruent triangles to um, find out the length of this line segment. Okay, so what I've done is um, drawn another angle bisector. Uh, so that also means that since this line is the same as that line, only uh, flipped, that th this line is a, a line of symmetry. So we can say that these, these two angles are congruent. And since also this is a straight line, we can find the length of this angle. Uh, which is the same as the length of this angle. And since we have two, uh, since all three angles here are the same, um, you can say that this is an, also the same length. This is also because of the symmetry of our construction.
So we could call this angle E, um, which is 45 degrees. Uh, since we know these two angles, we'll find this angle, which we will call angle S. So now we know we have an uh, angle side pair here. We also have an angle and an unknown side here. So we're going to solve for our length x. So Using this, we can find any sort of any. Um, uh, using this, we can find uh, the length of x given any length of n. I believe in our problem this week, we were given n was a length 24. Um, so plugging and chugging that will give us x equals 48 units. Uh, thank you for watching this week's Problem of the Week. Uh, you can find a playlist for more Problems of the Week. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website for more math content. If you're on a mobile device, there will be an information card up in the corner, which you can click on for all these links. Thank you for watching.